In creating your first visualization, you work through a number of common techniques used to create effective visualizations, from selecting an appropriate visualization for the data, to changing colors and creating meaningful titles. These techniques apply to any visualization program, but we are demonstrating the process using Power BI. In this video, you will learn how to access additional visualizations and how to generate box and whisker visualizations. Click the plus sign to get a new page. The box and whisker visualization is not a visualization that automatically comes with the initial installation of Power BI Desktop. However, Power BI provides easy access to many different visualizations with your Microsoft account. To access these visualizations, click the ellipses under the visualization menu and select the option to get more visuals. You will have to enter your organization's Microsoft account credentials in order to be able to access the additional menus. I've already accessed the box and whisker plot once, but you can use the search bar to find box and whisker. We're going to use the Box and Whisker Visualization by MAQ LLC because it's higher rated than the other option. Click once on this, and then once it loads, click Add. When you get the Import Successful window, go ahead and click OK. Click the Box and Whisker plot, and then expand it on your canvas. For the Box and Whisker plot, add the company name to the Access field. Add the fiscal year end to category one. Then you may have to scroll down and add negative sentiment to the value field. Let's change the name of the chart title. To box and whisker plot of negative and then again, we can remove the underscore sentiment by, and I'm going to change company name to firm and fiscal year end. Let's change the name of our page to box and whisker vertical, and you'll see why I use that term in a minute. Let's change our Y axis title to the negative sentiment. A box and whisker plot is a great chart to help you when you're trying to see the distribution of the data points across a selected measure. They display the ranges within the variable that's measured, in this case, the negative sentiment. You can also easily see outliers, the median, the mode, and where the majority of the data points lie within the box. While you may be comfortable with the default vertical orientation, sometimes it is helpful to report box and whisker plot using a horizontal orientation. To create this, you would duplicate the box and whisker plot that we just created. Let's rename this to box and whisker horizontal. Click on the Format Your Visual, and then expand the Orientation menu, click the drop-down arrow, and choose the option for Horizontal. Good job! You have created your second type of visualizations. These videos have given you a broad range of skills that are valuable for creating effective visualizations. At a minimum, replicate the visuals for other sentiments, positive, neutral, and or compound based on your instructor's guidance. Beyond that, take the opportunity to use the rich data set that you created to explore Power BI and your ability to create effective visualizations. In thinking about what visualizations might be valuable, consider your research question and your audience in addition to your own curiosity. For example, what parts of the data might help you best understand and communicate the most salient insights for answering the research questions and satisfying your curiosity as well as the curiosity of your audience? Congratulations on finishing the guided tutorial videos for this case.
We hope you have fun exploring the data.